Hey guys, happy 4th of July. Welcome to Technability. I am Berge and today we're going to go ahead and look at a Galaxy Note 2 running Cyanogen Mod 10.1 stock Jelly Bean 4.2.2. So uh, this is similar to the iteration that you get uh, to the stock iteration that you get with Paranoid Android, but there are a lot of fundamental differences. This is pure CM, Cyanogen Mod. You can get this ROM at get.cm. I'll post the link below to where to download it. Uh, it's a very fast ROM, blazing fast in fact. Uh, this ROM is super, uh, super stable. Uh, you have OTA updates or you can do system updates directly from the settings here. You can see uh, if I go to Cyanogen Mod Updates, I can automatically update the build through that uh, settings feature. So it's a really good ROM, guys. It's running on 4.2.2. Uh, it's bone stock, obviously. No bloatware. Deoxed. Uh, of course, it's rooted. You can see Jelly Bean. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover a few features here. Now, first thing you'll notice is the icons. They look similar to TouchWiz, don't they? Well, there's a reason for that. If I go into settings, and for those of you who have used CM9 or CM7 or whatnot in the past, uh, you know, you know, then you can change the themes. So this would be a TouchWiz theme, TouchWiz 5. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the stock theme here just to show you guys what it looks like. And you can see the settings, very minimal. Basically what you get with any other build of CM, uh, minimal settings. Obviously you have the performance, and the performance options are really cool because you could change the processor speed, the governor and clock speed. You could do memory management as you can see, the transparency, surface improvement. So I'm not going to change anything here, but if I go to processor, all right, you could see it says uh, CPU governor, and you could change that. There's Pegasus Q, performance, power saver, user space, and on demand. So just heading back here, all right, to the home screen. Um, uh, of course, you see there's only two screens here. You could change that. You can go to settings, go to launcher, home screen. You can amount different screen. You can add a certain amount of screens. You can change the grid size of the icons. Obviously, you could stretch the screen, and what that means is basically it takes your icons and it fits it to the ratio of your screen. Uh, you can enable or disable the persistent search bar. You can hide the icon labels uh, below the icons, and of course, there's tro uh, transition effects on scrolling, whether or not you want to scroll wallpaper, uh, various uh, options with the indicator, dock options to change and add a certain icon, uh, certain icons in the dock. You could change the uh, size, uh, size of the icons in the dock via the icon scale. Of course, there's general options here, which is basically auto-rotate, full screen mode, and lock home screen. Okay, so if we go back, there's various system options as well. So the system options, again, are very similar to any other build of CM that you see out in the market today. You got status bar uh, options. Of course, you can add uh, the percentage there to the battery. You can see right there, it's with a circle. Um, AM, PM uh, options. The thing, the, why I'm emphasizing on all of this, guys, is because I just want to showcase how customizable this ROM really is. Uh, in comparison to what you get with stock Android, which obviously uh, comes on stock Android devices, such as the HC1 Google Edition or the Galaxy S4 Google Edition, there's not many customization options. Uh, you know, you th with this build, you can customize the... Uh, uh, quick settings in the notification bar. You could customize various different settings uh, via the home screen. You could customize your lock screen. You could damn near customize anything. And of course, the other great thing about it is you can add, um, I'm sorry, let me get the password here. You can add um, all sorts of different really cool things to your lock screen. You could add themes, obviously. And just to go ahead and run a few benchmarks here, let's go to utilities and let's go to quadrant, okay? and Here's another cool thing about this, guys. It's LTE compatible. Yes, you heard that right. There's an LTE build of this ROM. Uh, a lot of times with CM, you get HSPA+, plus, but with this ROM, it is LTE compatible. So we're going ahead and running a Quadrant. You guys know about this, uh, the Note 2's hardware. If you don't know, it's a quad-core. I believe it's 1.9 gigahertz quad-core Exynos processor, or 1.6, or 1. I think it's a 1.6. But in any case, it's very fast. It's a quad-core. It's got two gigs of RAM, uh, external memory expansion. It's got, you can remove the battery. And the battery life on this device, 3100 milliamp battery is really, really good. So you know right off the bat, with that battery size, you're going to get good battery life. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, run Quadrant here. The DNA strand goes round and round. Okay, click yes. Okay, now let me emphasize something here. 
It's a 5374. Now, if you guys have seen the scores that you get with the Nexus 4 or the Galaxy S3 Quad Core International Edition, it's about similar with this build of CM10. It's about 5,000 to 5,300. Now, the beautiful thing about, uh, the, I mean, well, one of the things about Quadrant that kind of confuses people is sometimes you'll get a lower score than what the phone actually dictates. And what I mean by that is that this phone and this build is blazing fast. It's super fast. And let me just go ahead and show you guys what I mean. Let's go to settings, let's get out of settings. Let's drop down the notification, look at notifications, go to quick settings, turn on auto rotate, okay? Get out, go to the browser here, rotate the browser. Oops, I turned it off. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so rotation's uh, on now. There we go, turn it on, okay? And just go ahead and, and showcase pinch zoom. And I'm pinching as I'm, um, panning around through the screen. Okay, you can see with the browser, you have these CM10-esque tabs with the browser. Now I'm exited out. Now I want to go to the Play Store and I want to download a theme, let's say for example. Okay, so I can click on the theme and I can exit out. You know what, I decided I want to change my theme. So I'll go to themes right here, click on that. Okay, switch, switching to TouchWiz, theme has been changed. If I want to move this widget around over here, for example. Okay, oops, it's locked. Another thing, you could lock the lock the icons there on the screen, guys. So if I want to move that around, it'll move all the icons there for me. Let's just go ahead and put it back. Oops, I actually removed it. But uh, you want to create a folder, you could do as such. If I want to open my clock, and I want to uh, open my clock and create an alarm or start a stopwatch or whatnot, I could do that. All right, I want to exit out of that. I can open the camera. And you can see with the themes, when you install themes, the camera icons change. So let's just go ahead and take a picture, take another picture, exit out, go to the gallery. Okay, take a look at a few pictures. You can see the quality is fantastic. Gorgeous color with the Super AMOLED display. You can see the dialer changes with the themes as well. So the stock uh, dialer is not going to look like this. The stock dialer is going to be the stock Android or the stock CM10 blue with black background dialer. But with these themes, it actually changes the way the dialer looks, uh, changes the way the uh, toolbars up here on the messaging looks, changes the way the notification bar looks, in fact. So Let's just go to maps. You know, we could do a, a navig. We could direct ourselves somewhere. Let's do Google now here. Tell me the weather in Jordan. It's 70 degrees and clear in the run. What is 6 times 6 times 3 minus 9 divided by 9 to the third power? Alright, I guess that was a little bit too confusing, but you guys know about Google now. Alright, and if I hold down the menu button, I get my uh, multitasking. The difference between the multitasking here and the multitasking that you get with stock Android is you have the option to just close out of everything right there. Makes it a lot easier. You don't have to individually close out of everything. Alright, we can go ahead and remove that from the folder. Um, you know, running games, opening a game immediate to, re to my response, closing out immediate to my response, Google+. Plus. Alright, let's just go ahead and open some things here. One thing, guys, mind you, if you have HBO to go, Showtime to go, and you're rooted, you're not going to be able to access those. So FYI, okay? All right, so Netflix, or excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean Stars. I'm talking about Stars Play, not HBO and Showtime. So you can see Winamp opening, Winamp closing, Winamp, Netflix opening in, opening it and then closing out of it. Uh, Google Hangouts, same uh, browser, okay? Immediate, immediate. I want to check a notification. I could do as such. All right, I, I have a stopwatch going on here, so let's stop that. Okay, and actually, as a matter of fact, let's remove it. All right, now I opened all these apps, and so now what do I want to do instead of closing out of them one by one? They're gone. 